What's up, guys? This is Zach. Coming back at you from San Francisco. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna be talking about, um, utensils in, uh, European, uh, Western culture. Um, European, uh, American-ish. I guess it'd just be a European if you're gonna go back all that way. Um, but the, the purpose of them, their effectiveness... Um, I'll compare them to other cultures, uh, eating utensils. Let me specify, eating utensils. Um, uh, yeah, so, you know, I was, I was eating the other day. I was at a, at a, a Japanese restaurant eating some sushi. And they, they expect you, well, I mean, you can ask for a fork, um, or a spoon, uh, if you need one, but they, they expect you to be able to use these kind of chopsticks. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. And, you know, it made me think, why, why would I use these? They're two sticks, you know, and yeah, I get that it's embedded in your culture and that your cuisine is literally built around this, um, you know, you know, um, but it's so ineffective. It's, it's really stupid. You know, um, I, I don't understand why you'd use this when you have the option of using something that not only picks up more food to put in your mouth, but it's it's a lot easier. You know, it, it doesn't require, it, not that, that being easier makes it more effective or whatnot, because um, it's not like I, I'm, do, I'm doing this video because I'm bad at chopsticks, but... I don't understand why you wouldn't want to use something that is a, a little more uh, effective. Let's let's take um, let's take pasta for instance. Um, okay, so I'll give it I'll give it to the to the Asians that you can use uh, chopsticks for for other kinds of foods such as a pasta. Um, specifically spaghetti, linguine, um, far, uh, no, not farfall, excuse me for that slip up. Um, but, but it's fairly, fairly effective at this kind of food. Um, it is not effective for any other kind of food. Meat? What if I'm eating a steak? You know, I, am I going to pick it up with chopsticks? Am I going to pick up, poke them in there and pick it up? Ch I mean, chopsticks are catered to one specific kind of, of cuisine. Uh, and it's centered around, you know, the, the kind of, uh, um, you know, rice, uh, you know, picking up fish that you place on rice that could more, be easily, more easily picked up with, uh, you know, um, chopsticks. I guess uh, in traditional cultures, even pre-chopsticks, or maybe, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure, but if you have seen the documentary Jiro Sleep Dreams of Sushi... Um, he, it's, it's, uh, more common or more, more accepted to pick up sushi of the more traditional sort with your hands, with your, your thumb and your index finger and place it on, into your mouth, on your tongue. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, the chopsticks were invented for a specific kind of food, uh, and geographically, located geographically, but around, you know, the, the Asian, uh, China, Japan, Korea area, and, and catered to, you know, how they prepared the food. They prepared them uh, both for the chopsticks, and the chopsticks were prepared for this. And I'm not entirely sure, you know, which came first. I'm sure it was a blend of the two. Um, but, you know, okay, so let's, let's look at the, the forks and spoons and knives of the, of the, of the civilized world. Um, you know, uh, you have, if I have a big hunk of steak, okay, uh, I can, I can eat that with, with a fork and a knife. I can just try and use my fork at least to, you know, cut it off. I mean, there are instances where I could use a knife, you know, of cutting pancakes, uh, you know, cutting certain types of, uh, and more specifically poultry, a little bit easier to cut than, uh, than, a, uh, some sort of cow. Um, but, you know, I, I can, the, the fork can be used with nearly any food. 
any solid base food. You cannot say that about the chopsticks. Um, and then you have the spoon. The spoon is incredibly useful. It's incredibly versatile. Um, you can you can pick up soup and eat it with the spoon. You know, and I know that uh, there are spoons of some sorts that the uh, Asians, the Asians, the Asians have them. What? <laughs> you have to say it. <laughs> the Asian. I just want to get the point across that it's the Asians who are failing and have failed miserably at one of the most basic human functions. The, mainly, like, one of two things that you have to do. You have to eat and you have to mate. You, you, you have to drink water, too, I guess. But you have to eat and you have to mate, okay? And you're fucking failing at one of them. It's pathetic. You know? <laughs> You're gonna want to. You want to be cultured. You don't want to be fucking animals. You know. <laughs> you just, <kept> <laughs> you, just you, know, you you fail at it. It's really pathetic. Um, you know, you have thousands of years to develop. You have thousands of years to develop a new kind of of of, of utensil to eat your food. Okay, you have thousands of years. Okay, you didn't do it. You didn't change anything. You did not change one thing about what you ate. Or maybe you started <laughs> deep frying shit. I don't know. But, you know, you didn't change one thing. You know, the, you can have you can have the, col the, the, the cuisine of culture. You know, it can, it can, it can evolve around uh, a fork and a knife and a spoon. You know, um, it, you, the, the progression of, of ways in which we, we utilize certain foods, spices, the way in which we prepare things for both aesthetic and culinary uh, purposes, uh, you know, we can, we can change and, and we don't have to, we don't have to worry about our, the limitations that our eating utensils provide for us. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's basically the, just what I'm getting at, uh, you know, forks, spoons, knives are fan, fantastic for, uh, eating any, any kind of food. Chopsticks are great for specific, uh, cult, uh cuisines, um, specific to, uh, the certain kinds of, uh, cuisines that were, were, made but you know dishes were made around chopsticks um so that that's pretty much the point i'm getting at um that's it um just use a fork and a knife and a spoon okay that's that's all you have to do um all right uh so this is all good uh uh thanks for watching um i love the asians i love the asians i am not bashing on asians i'm bashing on the fact that you didn't do anything for like a thousand years about eating, which is ridiculous, you know, you, how do you over, you eat like, what do you, maybe Asians eat twice a day, I don't know, but we eat three times a day, and you, you couldn't think of something else <laughs> besides two fucking sticks to pick up your food. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's it's upsetting almost. Uh, you know, I wasn't. I'm just gonna. I was gonna refrain from personal comment on this, but you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about this. It upsets me. It upsets me to see a man and a woman eating <laughs> food <laughs> with two sticks. You know, aliens will. Some sort of other form of intelligent life will come to come to Earth, and they're gonna. They they might come to Japan first, and they're gonna see people with two sticks. Oh, well, they can manipulate these sticks to pick up food. Yeah, it's still two sticks. You know, it's it doesn't show any sort of progress in our evolution in, in the fact that, you know, we can we can disregard uh, our, the cultural history behind certain objects and, and the value that we place in them and, and move forward uh, with the progression of, of the human society. Uh, uh, different kinds of human societies too, uh, such as Asian and uh, Euro kind of uh, European American, uh, North American uh, diet. Um, I don't know what what Southern American do they. I think they use the fork and the knife. They use their hands. I don't know. Yeah, they might use their hands. They don't have a lot of food to go. Around. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, rice and beans. I guess spoon. Quesadillas. Hands. Burritos. Hands. Yeah, I guess hands. Anyways, um, that's it. Uh, just use a fork and a knife. Don't don't make anything harder for yourself. All right. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Um, just you know, kind of give me your thoughts on. I don't want any facts. I don't want any factual information. I just want <laughs> your thoughts. You know, I just, I just your your prima facie uh, uh, take on this. Okay, so your just first impressions. Just just watch it, comment. You know, uh, just tell me what you think about chopsticks, and tell me what you think about forks, spoons, and knives. All right, so uh, have a wonderful day. <laughs> like, subscribe. What? Like, subscribe, comment. I'll catch you later. Peace out.